I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about five budget-friendly ways to decrease your exposure to toxins. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist and fertility specialist helping patients build their families for over 15 years. And I'm so glad you found this YouTube channel. This is your first time here. Welcome. If you're coming back for more learning about your reproductive health, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about ways to decrease your exposure to toxins. Now, I talk to my patients every day about ways to improve their overall health and well being as a way to improve their egg quality, their sperm quality, their chances of success with fertility treatment. And we talk a lot about nutrition, fitness, stress relief. Um, I have lots of videos here and education here to help you with that. But I do talk about decreasing exposure to toxins. This is a lot to learn about if you're just being exposed, excuse the pun, to this subject. When I was researching for my own books that I wrote on fertility and miscarriage, I delved deep into this topic and it was really quite upsetting. This is not something that I learned in medical school. I learned a little bit about it in fellowship training at Stanford, but really truly the evidence is there that certain exposures to endocrine disruptors like high levels of BPA or bisphenol A, high levels of phthalates, high levels of parabens, lots of chemicals that are in everyday household products. If they build up in our system over time, they really can impact our health. And I have lots of information here. You can find videos on this here on YouTube, whether you see my posts on Instagram, read my books, see my blog posts on my website. Like I just really want you to understand. And one of the biggest pushbacks I get when I'm talking about decreasing exposure to toxins is worry about how it's going to impact the budget because a lot of products that are marketed as clean or as lower toxins often have a higher price. It shouldn't be that way. Like we should just not have to take our health at risk in order to put on beauty products or use laundry detergent. But until there are more regulations in place and more true understanding of the impact of all of these chemicals kind of combined, it really is on us as consumers to choose wisely. And just so you know, you cannot completely eliminate exposures to these, but there are key things that you can do to decrease your exposure. I've got a great guide on decreasing exposure to plastics in your kitchen. I'll put it in the link here. That can be really helpful, trying to get plastic away from food and what we're ingesting. And I've got lots of tips. I really wanna help you, but I don't want you to shy away from this information because you feel like you can't do it on a budget. That is not the message that I want to give. And so in this video, I want you to think about these five budget friendly ways to decrease your exposure to toxins. Here we go. So number one, take your shoes off before you go in your house. It's that simple. This is something that's really common for me in Seattle, where I live today in the Pacific Northwest. It rains like eight months out of the year. And so people often will take their shoes off before they come in your home, or I take my shoes off before I go in my home because they're just usually wet and full of mud, etc. But growing up on the East Coast, I grew up in North Carolina. I went to school in Washington, D.C. Um, my husband's from New York City. So when we were growing up, it wasn't really customary to take off shoes, but it's amazing how much is on the bottom of our sho shoes and bringing in that dust from the outside, the chemicals that are being used to clean streets or on, you know, vegetation, you know, weed killers, things like that. It's amazing how much we bring into our home. And just by taking our shoes off, we can decrease our exposure to toxins. Number two, buy fragrance free products. So you need to buy laundry detergent. You, you know, probably need lotion for your skin, but you know what you don't need? You don't need scent. You don't need fragrance. Fragrance is often filled with phthalates, which are a chemical that helps stabilize the fragrance um, and increase the shelf life of a lot of products in our home. Fragrance, even on a label, the word fragrance, if it's there, that is a huge red flag. It's considered proprietary or trademarked. And so if a company can claim that an ingredient is in their product as a part of the fragrance, they can say, we don't want anybody else to get ideas on how to recreate our fragrance. So we're not going to list the ingredient. And so it's really important in awareness. Listen, clean is not a scent. 
We don't have to have clothes that smell like mountain spring or fresh air. Like, what are these scents and who decided what fresh air should smell like? And so we've been conditioned to think that our clothes are only clean if we can smell a sort of nice scent on them. That's actually not true. So you need to buy laundry detergent anyway, just buy unscented and think about that for your lotions and for other products. You know, usually there's lots of products to choose from in the grocery aisle or in the drugstore or at Target. And most companies will offer an unscented or a fragrance free option. Um, it's typically marketed towards people that have skin sensitivities and allergies, but you know what? You can use it too. Number three, don't use dryer sheets in the dryer. That is just wasteful and that's often just adding scent, which again, we don't need. Use wool dryer balls that are reusable. It's better for the planet. You're not throwing away a dryer sheet every time you dry clothes and they don't have scent and they do a great job of like fluffing up the clothes and decreasing the static cling. So no dryer sheets, just get wool balls. I usually use about two or three and I've bought some a couple of years ago and I've honestly never had to replace them. Number four, make your own cleaning solution. All you need is vinegar and water. You can find different solutions or amounts to mix based on whether you're using it for the counters or the floors, um, shower, etc. But you don't have to buy really expensive cleaning products or brand names. You can honestly make your own spray bottle, vinegar, water, good to go. Number five, use less products. That is a great way to save on your budget and to decrease your exposure to toxins. If you really start to add up all of the things that we're using, whether it's all the different type of makeup you put on the morning, the lotions, the shampoo, conditioner, laundry detergent, all of these different things, it is amazing how many products we are using. You do not need an 11 step skincare routine. Think about the products that you're using and try to consolidate. I have this one product from Beauty Counter that I absolutely love. Side note, I am on their scientific advisory board and I am just so impressed by this company and what they are doing for research, advocacy, increasing transparency in the beauty industry. I could go on and I know that their products are expensive. I know that and they are doing so much research and background and thinking about packaging. They're really putting that money towards making better products and trying to be a standard for the beauty industry. But um, this one product I really love, it's called a cleansing balm. And it's something that I use every night. I just use a tiny little thing. I know the tub I think is like 75 or $80, which is crazy to think about spending that much on a beauty product. But this tub lasts me months, I think probably four to six months. And you just, um, I use it at night, a little tiny dash of it, um, spread it around, um, just put it all over my face. And then I use a warm washcloth to wash off my makeup. It is a makeup remover, a cleanser and a moisturizer all in one. So that one product, I know it's expensive. It's an expensive upfront investment, but it is lasts forever. And it's combining three products into one. So that is just one example, but using less products, really think about it. Do you need all of those different products for your skin? Nope. Choose wisely. So not only are you decreasing the number of products that you're using, decreasing the, the number of toxins you're exposed to, but you are saving on your budget. I hope you learned something from this video. Like it if you learned something, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel and stick around for more learning.